Jeff Hansen here from Facebook Prayer Center. Boy, we've really had a good week, let me tell you, this week. You know, and a lot of things have happened. But really what I want to talk to you about today is, is about, uh, about Egypt, okay? Uh, I've gotten some questions about Egypt, and a lot of us have, okay? What is it all really all about? What, what, where is Egypt going at this time? And, you know, we've watched it on TV for 17 days now, and we found out that the government, the military, is now in power over Egypt. And the president has, has standed down now. So there's going to be a many, many changes that's going to take place there. But I just want you to know that some of the questions that came in, that even this morning on Facebook, was, uh, is the Antichrist now going to come out of Egypt? Well, no. The answer is plain no. The Antichrist does not come out of Egypt. We got to go to the Bible to find these things out, okay? And it speaks about the Antichrist and Daniel, okay? About the Antichrist that's coming, okay? Now, in Daniel, when he speaks about the ten toes, the forming of the ten toes, which represents the ten nations that will come in the end time, which is called the Roman Revived Empire, okay? During the time 2,000 years ago when Rome, the Rome was in, was in control of all the nations, okay? Now, <clears throat> Egypt was not part of that whatsoever. So, you say, well, then who is? Well, I can give you the list of all the nations that were brought in to the European Union. It started in 1948, okay, on December the 12th. Now I'm going to give you the list of those nations. Remember that 1948, Israel was formed in one day, in one hour, okay, and became a nation. That represents the last generation, okay. Now, also right after that, in 1948, the European Union, okay, was formed. And the first one that joined the, U, the United Nations was Belgium. Second came in was Netherlands. And these are part of the Roman Empire, okay? Next one came in was Luxembourg. Then in 1957, they nominated other countries. Italy came in and joined them. France came in and joined them in 1957, okay? Germany came to the Ten Nations in 1957. Now in 1981, there were more that came, were coming in. England came in and joined. Ireland came in and joined. Denmark joined. And Greece joined. The last one, that's ten nations joined the European nations, okay? Now, we still have those original ten. That Daniel spoke up, okay? Even though we're right at about 27 nations now, okay? But we still have the original 10, okay? Now, was Egypt listed in there? No, Egypt was not. Why? Because, see, Egypt never was, thousands of years ago, ever had any part in the Roman Empire at that time. They were not part of it. So that leaves out Egypt. The Antichrist is going to come through the ten nations that Daniel spoke of, the original ten. Even though, like I said, I think we're at 27 now, okay? But Egypt is not part of it whatsoever. Now what that agreement was with that military officer was that Egypt's been friends of Egypt for 35 years. And he just came and, and, and to give Israel, let Israel know that the agreement that they had 35 years ago, peace with Israel, and friends with Israel, they're still going to be friends with Israel. That's what that was about. Not that he gave them a peace agreement for seven years or anything like that, okay? And just letting Israel know, you know, that they were still going to be friends. Praise God for that, okay? Let's just hope it stays that way too, okay? You know, there's going to be a lot of world changes going on. I've been talking about this for years and years, that at any time, that nations will come so complex 
that is beyond our imagination. We're seeing it come alive on TV today, okay? Where in the world have you ever seen a nation or any place on the world on the map that you came together with 10, 15, 20, 30,000 people congregating in one spot? It's never happened in our history whatsoever. That many people come together, okay? You've watched it on TV, okay? This is Bible prophecy being foretold. foretold. So, anyway, let's keep these things in, you know, in, in, in Bible, you know, in, in according to the Bible, okay? As they're going out there and telling everybody that, you know, the Antichrist is coming through Egypt, okay? No, he's not. No, he's not, okay? You know, listen to Jack Van Ippie. I've been friends with Jack Van Ippie now for many, many, many years, okay? I also listen to Hal Lindsey report. And all these Bible scholars all over the world, and we've all come into one agreement, okay, with the book of Daniel. We've all come into one agreement, okay, with the book of Daniel about the ten nations that will be formed in 1948, okay? That's Bible. That's Bible prophecy. God said the ten nations would be formed. And Daniel talked about the Roman Empire, okay, because they were part of the Roman Empire. All down through there, okay? And now we got the ten nations that's called the revived Roman Empire. So we got to stick to the Bible. Anything outside of that, if you don't know your history on Roman Empire, I would advise you to go ahead and start studying it. And then when you study, you'll come to find out this thing. God's going to reveal to you the truth of, of these things, okay? But we don't need to go out there and start saying that the Antichrist is coming through Egypt. No, he's not. No, he's not. I'll say it again. No, no, no. Okay. So, anyway, I just thought you'd like to know that, you know, but we also, we got to keep praying for Israel. And, you know, now we need to pray for uh, uh, Egypt, too. Okay. So, there's a lot of things that's going to take place in Egypt. Okay. And, you know, the world power changes all around those nations around there. It's going to be affected by this, too. Okay. So, you know, we just need to keep them in prayer. Okay. So, Anyway, I'm going to let you go now. I just thought you'd like to have a little history on the Roman Empire and where the Antichrist is coming. He's coming through the revived Roman Empire, okay? Not Egypt. Anyway, we'll see you guys later. We'll have another Bible study coming up here real soon, okay? God bless you each and every one of you. I love you guys out there. Catch you later. Bye. And remember, Jesus is King of Kings, okay? Bye now.